Well, remembering that one point behind, one point behind, that's where he was today. So uh, one point behind, nice to see. So uh, having it'll play a little bit of uh, catch up for motocross and the overall uh, uh, for bike fight. There you go with the number one, looking hot out there. It's the Cody Cooper Show. As we extend it out, Dean Ferris up there in the second. Uh, Keen to pick up on the others. We'll get back up to the higher box and uh, see the camera and get a better view of it uh, shortly. They go out of sight for us around the back of the cup rooms over the new aero helmets. So jump here. Here's the number one. Here we are. With the Cody. Whoa, there we go. And uh, down there we go. And uh, Dean Ferris to go with it at this stage. Got himself uh, out of shape at this stage. So there you go. And uh, 101 for BT. 101 for BT. So, uh, 101 for BT. Got himself cross-rutted. It was the uh, flag in there. Well, well waved uh, yellow on that one. All the riders doing the right thing, keeping out of the way. Hamish, uh, Klaus and Nathan uh, Yaxley there. Here we go with uh, Team Ashton Racing, 712, 706 in there also. Wow, Benno, a, a classic cross run through there. It was a very good uh, second place. Thought that that's where he was at this stage. Here we go, just uh, looking to see if he can get himself back up. I tell you what, unfortunately not the athlete that he has been in the past. The boy's just making sure that he's OK before he uh, sits up. And there you go, let's have him on his feet. Give him a round of applause, folks. There you go. There you go for BT. And uh, thank you to uh, Scrim. We'll get the bike right out of the way there. We'll get the bike right out of the way. Good move, good move, good move. Well, and a great example today for Benno, when you're still riding for the fun of it, you're always uh, not quite the athlete that you want to be. Your uh, mind's performing better than your body's able to perform with it. And unfortunately, uh, not, just not having the uh, strength to keep control of the bike at that kind of race pace. So uh, there you go. A little bit of a slip for him, but great news is he's uh, stood up and uh, ready to uh, look for the day. All right, are we ready? Are we ready? Here we go with Cody, Cody, Cody. Cody Cooper. Cody out in front, the number one jersey, the number one bike. Yes, to go for Luke Stike. Great red by uh, Stikey up there. Now with letter D, here we go with Dean. Dean Ferris on the boil, JD. It's a Kiwi, then it's the three Aussies to come through. Then we'll get to 94 and uh, Kane Lamont. Picking up now from 79. A BG brand groupage over eight, Kieran Shield this time. Look out to number one, two. Reese Carter back a little in the traffic at this stage, so he's got some uh, work to do to get back on it. But I'll tell you what, what a day for Kane Lamont. Is that man showing he's the next best Kiwi in the making in MX1 New Zealand racing after Cody Cooper or what? You probably didn't think that from round one or two or three, but I'll tell you what, here today, home top over track, and just the way he's got stronger as events go on, he's got better, he's got more polished. He doesn't look uh, the on-edge uh, performer that he had been. He, he has got much more of sorts with racing over this entire championship. When you saw that earlier performance from him to finish in a very close third place, it was total uh, dominance from the other riders' point of view. The others might have thought they could have closed him down, and that margin in the end was very, very close. So uh, take a bow. My outstanding MX1 rider of the day and going to uh, Kane Lamont. So uh, well done for uh, Kanus. Right, 706 for James Ashton up there. 712 and his brother uh, David back there. One's on 29 points, the other's on 26. But believe it or not, there's actually three riders between them. Also on 29, Kieran Bryant. On 28, Sam Greenslade. And then going to the other uh, 28 of uh, Kyle Platt. So I presume the double classing. Well, word is that we've uh, just heard that Dean Ferris has pulled off the track somewhere. I'm not sure what's going on there, but uh, Dean looks to have uh, pulled off the track. He's not out here at the moment. He's not out here. He's not in that uh, third place. So we've got uh, a Kiwi and uh, two Aussies. No Dean, no Dean. So that puts you 94. Came the mind up one. I'm sure what has happened. Uh, quickly looking back, can't see it around anywhere. Don't see any other dramas on the track. Don't see yellow flags waving or uh, our uh, medics out. So uh, I'm sure as to what has happened, but... Uh, 
the man that Dean Ferris, the points leader overnight, the man who had it under control, should have had it under control, should have gone and uh, taken it, has uh, faded or faulted, we're unsure which, and we'll uh, hopefully keep our head to the ground and find out what happens afterwards. 79 for Brad Groomage getting a rear shield from the Taupo uh, club workers here today. So come on to all of you others. And a uh, big thanks to the flag marshal today, Rodney and uh, Bevan and the team for jacking up the flag marshals. Uh, great effort and thank you to those flag marshals. They've done half a day each, so they've uh, effectively done practice in round one and the next lot of marshals have done round two and round three today. So it doesn't mean that they've got the job all day long. So well done to the Taupo club and thank you to those flag marshals out there. Some of you will hear uh, this... Uh, call of uh, thanks but others that won't so make sure it all gets passed on love the flag marshals couldn't do it without them the hardest job in the world to do why you've got to look where the races have gone not where they're coming from so you're looking in the wrong direction all the time very hard to focus on i couldn't be a flag marshal to save myself i'm too excited about what's happening at the start of the race and these guys have got to look at, at the other riders that have gone before them 28 what a man has been here today an outstanding uh, uh, contribution in motocross out there uh, Stephen Gibson and uh, Stephen with 56 points. He's 20 behind Hamish Clausen, but uh, uh, Richard Horn is a further 17 behind him. So if, if that's your first year, Stephen, in New Zealand MX1 all the way from Westport down there on the beautiful scenic wonderland, the west coast of the South Island. Take a bow, Stephen. That is uh, superb. So well done. 15th place, man. Man could only dream about being in 15th in the New Zealand uh, Championship. So great result. All right, uh, 706 back in here for uh, James. BT, unfortunately, a crash there. The uh, 38 points. James, can he get more than five points? Ooh, hard to know, hard to know. He might be able to get up to that 17th place in front of uh, uh, Ben Townley. Not sure of that one. Here we go with Coops. Here we go. Big news, big news. Oh, no, Dean Ferris. No, Dean Ferris. So, Dean was a serious uh, threat at the moment. Uh, Reese is a further uh, 46 behind. So, with no Dean Ferris, uh, Cody. Could even if a uh, DNF did not finish and still win the title. We wouldn't wish that on anybody. Well, the uh, first race was uh, just looking like it was going to be a repeat of where we were. Then the second race, slightly different. The third race has uh, proved to be uh, a somewhat of a, uh, of a fizzer, and, uh, unfortunately, because it hasn't come to that climatic last lap, last race, last corner, uh, last uh, hurrah for any of our uh, feature riders is that in the end, the uh, riders have taken in a more consistent position. All right, double one, two now out here with the cartwheel. And there he is, um, Luke Stike needed seven more points on this one. And uh, Stike here at the moment has got the uh, second. Oh, 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 I think he's going to get those seven more points. I think we're going to have a change for third place. I think Luke Stike is going to overtake Reese Carter for that third place in New Zealand. So uh, Todd Waters unfortunately out behind. Todd's results have faded away. And as we've interviewed him before, he is not finishing today's racing. So uh, uh, Kane Lamont is not going to eclipse his points. So uh, Todd will stay in fifth. But I think a serious change is here. So uh, Luke Stike, uh, good enough uh, to be there. So too is Reese Carter. But Reese, not the sort of motor that he wanted in his final race today. So where are we? Back to... Uh, uh, Reese, he is in eighth place. Eighth place scores uh, 13 points. 13 points over 22 is more than eight. 13 over 22, it's one, it's nine. It's nine points, so I think we've uh, got the change. Uh, just learned, in fact, that uh, Dean Ferris has had a, uh, a bike problem, had a bike problem, so, uh, wow, just to uh, see it all disappear like that, a bike problem, so bad luck out there for Dean. Thank you for the information. Information at trackside, uh, Dean Ferris and a bike problem when he had a chance of the title, and it unfortunately fades in front of him. Here we go with Luke Stike, and Luke Stike, a chance to get up to 3NZ, 3NZ here today. Here's it, JD. Here we go with Kane, Kane Lamont. That's, they're your top four. I tell you what, it was a bit of a Suzuki battle on here. BG trying to get around the outside. Here they are, two in yellow, two in yellow. Looking out for this one, Shield and Groombridge. Go Hawks Bay versus Taupo. Look at this, Karen Shield, Brad Groombridge. All on for this glory at the moment. Karen, Brad.
Oh, here we are. He's moved up one. He's moved up one. Uh, no Broxy. No Broxy. We didn't have Broxy in there. So it's uh, the cartwheel up next. Where's Broxy gone? Keen to watch out today for uh, a 6-1-4. And uh, Peter Broxham, 19 points. He's coming to 24th place. He's going to get a, a, more than half a point on Alex Snow, providing he still finishes. So, what's that done there? What's that done? All right, cartwheel. Where is that? Cartwheel in there. I think he needs one more place. I think he needs one more place. Cartwheel needs one more. If he wants to uh, get there, he needs to catch up with those Suzuki boys. Brad and Karen, can he do it? He's in seventh at the moment. That is... 15, is it? No, 14. 14 versus 22. 14, 22, that is uh, eight points. And the deficit is seven. The deficit is seven. He needs the one point. Would he win the count back even? He needs two points to actually uh, ensure that he gets that third place. So Reese Carter, under threat. Does Reese realise it? Does the team know it? Is, is the pit board out there to tell him what to do? Here we go with uh, Coops. Cody and absolutely flawless day. There's Stike. He's got no worry. He's back in the second. Here's the other boys to challenge, and here we go. Look at that, JD, and check it out. Come on, where's the Caden Lamont fan club? Here we go, I said he was my outstanding MX1 rider of this round. And here we are with the Jesse Dobson, and it's all on. Where are the supporters? Come on, everybody. Here we are, Dobson and Lamont, Australia to Kiwi. Let's look after this. Sound those hooters. Whoa, what's happened? What's happened? What has happened? Oh, something's gone wrong there. Something's gone wrong there. The 94, the 94. He was pushing, he was pushing. I looked behind all of a sudden, only one bike went past. Is he gone? Is he still racing? Or is he pulling out? We're unsure, we're unsure what's happened. What has happened? The blind spot of the club rooms. He is still racing, he's still racing. Has he just done something to wind himself? Has he got a problem that he just needs to nurse along? Completely unsure, but he's still out on the racetrack. But not the performance. Well, there's our uh, Suzuki uh, brothers to go past. The Kieran and Brad show, looking pretty classy indeed. It's now the Brad and Kieran class, because of course they've gone around the other way. Here's Cartwheel. Definitely not in that uh, good position, so uh, looks as if he may be losing his third place, losing that uh, third at the moment. So Cody Cooper first, Dean Ferris second, and Luke Stike third. And overall at this stage, only provisional. And at the moment, right on 14.01, 14.01, so... Uh, uh, 3 minutes and 59 seconds left in the moto, doing a lap time of, uh, at the moment, 2.06. Do you know Kane Lamont has the fastest lap time? You heard it, Kane Lamont, a 2.06.65. Kane Lamont, the fastest man out there. Cody doesn't need to go super fast. All he knows he, and all he thinks he needs to do is finish. So he's not out for any lap records today. Goal 985, Taranaki's Kyle Platt on 28 points, tied with Sam Green, so he hasn't gone into moto. Didn't spot uh, Kieran uh, Bryant in this uh, race in a better place, but we'll uh, wait and see. Cooper, Stike, 15.04, that is uh, now almost uh, just under three, so certainly two laps before the white, two laps before the white. This one plus the next, and in the white you get the idea. Still to come our intermediate uh, overs and unders for our uh, final uh, support race today. Here's the 94, the 94. Hey, he is looking A-OK. -okay. He does want to carry on, doesn't he? 94. Does he know the situation? Yes, indeed. A uh, non-finish in Brad Groombridge would go past him. So I think he knows that. And he wants to make sure he gets the points. Doesn't matter if Brad's in front of him, as long as he can still pick up some points. 17 points ahead of Brad Groombridge. Brad's, by the way, 18 in front of Kieran Sheil, who's a further 13 in front of Jesse Dobson. Jesse, from memory, uh, missed Man of Two's round, if my uh, memory is uh, correct. Yes, it is. In fact, he's the best place rider in the uh, top 10. Best placed in the top 10 that hasn't done every round. So, flying credentials him. Double one, two, and uh, Reese Carter. Pressure on Reese, pressure on Reese, but doesn't seem to be responding.
918 today, 918 Cullen May. Ten to go with the Royd and White. Courtesy of Motor Revolution, the home of uh, Kawasaki. Well, our big thanks and congrats to uh, Kawasaki. Delighted to wear a Kawasaki shirt today as we've worn Honda ones and Yamaha ones and uh, KDM ones, Suzuki ones over the series. So uh, nice to be supporting Kawasaki and thanks for their support. They've been uh, great this year in getting behind motocross and the road racing as well. So uh, all around good support for our overall sport. So our big thanks to Kawasaki. Let the good times roll under the uh, new team really starting to lift the profile and take it places in the uh, New Zealand uh, moto scene. So well done and big congrats to uh, Kawasaki. Let the good times roll. Special hi to their uh, Australian and uh, Japanese visitors from uh, Kawasaki Australia and Kawasaki Japan respectively. And uh, lovely to have them here in uh, New Zealand uh, over this weekend. So uh, thank you and uh, to your visitors and I hope you have a very enjoyable stay in our little place down under. We, know, we know, may not be the biggest sales of your bike brand uh, in the world, but we certainly uh, love them and have always had them as a uh, significant brand on our moto scene. 79 for eight, there we go, BG and Kieran, look at that. Kieran, uh, he was uh, two laps ago, of course he was there, then we saw Brad get past him on that last lap, and uh, then it's been a matter of Brad's just hanging in there, just hanging in there, Kieran Shield. Kieran uh, throwing everything at this one, the 28 of Stephen Gibson back in here. Two for Cartwheel of Hessing. He does look up to the white flag and say, Stu, you thought you were going to put the white flag out at 18 minutes 35. We're well past that mark, folks. So uh, we'll have the flag out next time the boys go past. Here's Coops going down through the sawdust for the penultimate time. I see here's the uh, 21, and I see he's gone out on the other bike. So uh, DK unfortunately couldn't finish the last moto on his big CR500, but at least he's uh, finishing it off there. So. Uh, Thank you to him. Ten in front, Boyd and White. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here's the Cody Cooper show. Here's Cody, Cody, Cody. Cody all the way and a white flag, white flag out there. Yes, you bring it home. Number one, yes for Luke Stiker, the most incredible race, the one that he's needed because that gives him the opportunity to go to 3NZ. So uh, Luke Stike looking to follow uh, Dean Ferris in the championship fight as we catch our uh, uh, Aussie riders up for the glory. So uh, well done to them. Well, the 94 of uh, whatever happened to uh, uh, Kane, I just get the idea of it may have been a bit of a tweak for that uh, injury of his. And he's just then realised, hey, I still want to ride it. I still want to bring it home. I still want to show that I'm on the top of the game. And unfortunately, he won't quite as be as dramatic as he was in that exceptional placing uh, earlier today. But there we go. Seventy-nine and Brad Grimbridge, the eight Karen Shield, the Suzuki Show uh, comes storming back into town. White flag. Well, race fans, hope you're ready for a big one because uh, bring the house down for Cody Cooper when he's on his farewell lap. Up to the top of the inside, short straight, goes up over the top of that new step over uh, tabletop, almost a step down if you go far enough. Then you tuck down and go through there, then a new boom to come up through here, ready for parts and services. Here we go, down through the sawdust for the final time, ladies and gentlemen. He came into the day with a one-point deficit. He's looking to go out with a massive deficit. In fact, he should uh, make this one a win by 30 points. 30 points in the end with the very sad default of Dean Ferris, but that's racing, and it's going to be with this man. Are you giving him a cheer on, folks? Come on over to the fence here. Come on over, everybody. Come to the finish line. Come on, come on, come on. Are you ready? Put your hands up. Get your hats going. Let's hear it out here. Here is your champion defending his title. Number one looks 
behind him. He's done it. Yes, indeed. Cody Cooper is back. And he's done it again. Luke Stike right behind him. Back to Jesse Dobson. They were hot, but he was even hotter. Did enough to do it, and he's brought it home for the victory. Great result, and I think... Now for uh, Stikey, I think that Luke Stike has claimed third in New Zealand, 3NZ for Luke Stike. Here's Liam Harnett. Good on you, Liam. Love your attitude to racing. There's a, a very uh, a less professional rider showing a very professional attitude. Again, a man who's a, uh, a working for a living, but uh, riding like he was a pro. First, second, third. All right, here we go for fourth place. Look at that, Kane Lamont still getting to fourth. The fourth place for Kane Lamont. Great ride. Richard Horn, fifth now, and uh, Brad Groombridge, sixth and uh, 